Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is your off-ground tent site. In this video I have a comparison between two rooftop tents from the brand Roof Nest. So I have a Sparrow XL and a Sparrow Adventure XL. When you see these two uh, from outside, they look almost identical. And they, of course, share many common features. So these are two pop-up type hard shell rooftop tents. And here is one of them. I could show another, but it looks exactly the same. So these are the tents that have gas struts on the sides and they the lead practically raises by itself. You just push it gently. You have openings on all four sides and you have also awnings on all four sides and you can enter the tent from three sides. There are different options for the ladder on three sides. All these windows and doors are actually double layered, so you have a mesh and a panel, both zippered. And then you can regulate ventilation as you wish. The material of the, of the box is uh, a sort of uh, synthetic ASA, ABS, and this is why they are a hard shell to, uh, type. And the fabric that you see here around is a, a polycotton 280 grams per square meter, so this is quite typical for such tents. They have the same uh, thickness mattress and uh, the peak height is the same. They come with LED included and uh, anti-condensation anti mat. So many features are practically the same. But now to show you some differences. So here is a formal comparison table with a few parameters like weight, inner area, uh, box thickness, uh, size when closed. So as you see, the weight difference is negligible. There is small difference in the size and in the dimensions, again, completely negligible. By the way, they claim that these are rooftop tents for two to three people. As you see, the width is 140 and 147, so I don't think that three people can sleep here, so this is perfect for two. The box thickness difference is also completely negligible, and the size when closed, again, negligible. But there are differences in prices. The Sparrow XL is uh, more expensive, and it's hard to understand why, you will realize why I'm saying this. And uh, there are crossbars in the Sparrow Adventure Excel, and you don't have them in the Sparrow Excel. So these are the differences, and uh, obviously the most important are those related to price and crossbars. So, to say a few words about these uh, transportation features uh, on the lead, both of them have one part on the roof uh, indentation where you can put uh, some gear to uh, transport and they actually include a storage bag that you can put here it's a uh, robust strong material and there are some attachment elements in this indentation where you can uh, fix it in place so this part is the same in both however what you see here is actually the roof of the Sparrow Adventure Excel and it comes with channels for the crossbars and these crossbars are also included. So this is a huge bonus and a big difference because you can transport your bulky stuff here, for example bicycles, kayak or something like that and you don't have this option in the Roofnest Sparrow Excel. So this is the most important and I would say practically the only difference, but it is a big difference. And when I rate them formally, I have weight, cost, size, price. 
as you see, the difference is, uh, I give plus for the weight, but as you have seen, the weight difference is negligible. The same is for cost size, I give the uh, advantage to Adventure Excel, but the price is uh, better in the Adventure Excel, and most importantly, this uh, feature related to the <coughs> gear on the roof. So the formal score is 3 out of 4 and 1 out of 4 for the Sparrow Excel. All in all, the uh, roof nest Sparrow Adventure Excel is indeed a, a far better option because of this uh, attachment option with crossbars and also uh, related to the price. There are a few things that I don't like. For example, there are no vents. Uh, you have seen how they look. You have plenty of venting options because of those uh, windows. But when it rains and you have strong wind, you have to close all this and close also these awnings. And then in such situations, you really need vents, so you don't have them. Another thing that I dislike is the fact that there are no boot bags. And uh, there they don't offer accessory insulation, which you have in some other, uh, in some other rooftop tents of this type. For example, I can show you one. This is the tent box classic, and uh, with this rooftop tent, you can order an inner insulated cocoon so you can have an extra layer of, of protection uh, against the cold. So, this is something that I also dislike, but all in all, these are great rooftop tents, and again, the Adventure Excel is indeed a far better uh, option. Thank you for watching.